Hello and welcome to episode six of TEFL Tips. It's me, Martin, and today we're going to be looking at teaching connected speech. Thanks to everyone who watched my previous episode of TEFL Tips, and I really appreciate everyone's support and comments and all those new subscribers that have just joined. It's difficult to raise learner awareness about connected speech, and it took me a number of years to develop the confidence to try out different ideas. With the three tips I'm sharing with you today, hopefully you'll have some ideas that you could also incorporate and deliver with your students. Before we start the video, it'd be great if you could hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already, and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload another video. When you first start teaching connected speech to students, it can be quite overwhelming, not just for the teacher, but also for your learners. I like to raise student awareness of connected speech by doing a very simple activity with them. I explain to students that I'm going to read out 10 questions or sentences twice at natural speed, and all they have to do is write down the number of words that they hear with each sentence or question. If you use contractions within the sentences or questions, you can give a bit of leeway to the students, whether it's one or two words. They write down as many words as they hear and they do it individually first. And then once you've finished, you can get the students to compare with their partner or in small groups. Obviously, grade the language of the sentence or the question that you're using at the level that you're teaching. If you're teaching pre-intermediate students, try and grade the language to match that level. Obviously, don't try and use colloquial language because it will distract the learners on what they're trying to listen to. So I'll share with you 10 sentences or questions that I usually incorporate. Once students have shared their answers with their partner or in small groups, I explain to them that they're going to listen again and they need to write down each sentence or question that they hear. Once they've written down 10 sentences or questions, they compare with their partner or in small groups. And then I elicit with the whole class each individual sentence or question. At this point, I like to highlight how words can blend and merge with one another. As an optional extension, I get learners to think about their ideas of connected speech and seeing if they can create their own utterances as well. It's a simple task, but it really does raise learner awareness of connected speech. Teaching idea number two, word blending. I was only introduced to this idea a few weeks ago and I thought I'd try it out with my class. And as it was quite successful, I want to share this with you. So make sure you have the following written down on a paper. I tell students that I'm going to dictate certain phrases to the class and they have to listen and just write down what they hear. I explain to students at this point, it isn't important to focus on the spelling. Each phrase that I dictate, I repeat twice, and then I get students to share their answers with one another. Next, I elicit possible answers from the class and complement him wherever possible before sharing the actual answers. I give out each of the phrases to each of the students and tell them that they can work in pairs or small groups and work out what these phrases mean. The next step to this activity is handing out a worksheet to students which just lists sentences or questions. And the students have to try and match the particular phrases to the sentences or questions. And once students have finished matching phrases to sentences, you could drill and correct the pronunciation where required. And just like the previous teaching idea, you could get students to create their own phrases using these. The third and final teaching idea that I like to incorporate is word combinations. In this task, I hand out the following words to each student. I also make sure that they're all cut up as well. Once handed out, I just go through the words and drill them with the students. I explain to the students that they don't need to know the meaning of the particular words because we're focusing on pronunciation. I hand out the following sentences to students as well. And again, just make sure these are all cut up. I explain to students that they have to try and match the word to the sentence. 
I demonstrate one match. For example, she knows nothing at all about this. For example, she knows nothing at all about this. And this would match with tall. She knows nothing at all, at all. Once learners are aware, I get them to work together in groups and they have to try and say the sentence and hear where that word is coming into. Now, a variation of this is to hand out the words, but not hand out the sentences. And you could read out the sentence. If the students hear a particular word that you say when reading out the sentence, they put it up in the air. But this variation is quite difficult and it really focuses on pronunciation, listening, and obviously trying to locate the particular word that they hear. And you monitor and read out each sentence, focus on the individual words and area connected speech. Make sure you're reading out these sentences or questions at a natural pace. So those are my three ideas with regards to incorporating connected speech into the classroom. And I really do hope that you found this useful. Um, please feel free to use some of the ideas that I've included in today's video. That would be great. And also a huge thanks to this book here, the book of pronunciation. This book, as you know, I've mentioned this book in previous videos before, but some of the ideas here have been adapted from that book and um, it's great. It's a great resource. I would definitely recommend that you invest just a bit to purchase this book and get it and it will really help it develop your confidence when you're trying to teach pronunciation to your class. It would be great to hear from you. So how do you feel when you are incorporating connected speech in the classroom? Do you have a favorite idea yourself or activity that you like to incorporate? And also how have your students responded to the teaching of pronunciation in the classroom? If you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to comment below. It'd be great to hear from you. And also hit that like button and hit the subscribe button again if you haven't subscribed already. I hope to see you soon and thank you very much and see you in a future episode. Happy teaching.